All right, in this video clip, I'm using a tennis ball while handling the basketball, and that's always going to be able to challenge my offhand and being able to make dribbling basically second nature. I don't want that tennis ball to disrupt my dribble. Whether I catch that tennis ball or not, I want to be able to keep my dribble. So in slow motion, what we're going to do is hit the tennis ball and basketball at the same exact time. So there's my straight pound dribble. Let it bounce, go through. Now I'm going to tap and push up. And I want to hold that dribble and float it as long as I possibly can, delaying that catch to force myself to go a little bit faster than I normally would while being able to have a rotational float. So a rotational float is when the ball is floating in the air and it's kind of rotating a little bit, allowing me to hold that ball up legally a little bit longer. So this is going to challenge that rotational float and the ability to have quick hands. So I hit up, I'm going to pause as long as I possibly can, and then I go through catching that tennis ball facing downward because when you do protect with your offhand in a game, you are going to protect 99% of the time swiping a defender's hand down. And it's going to allow me to be super duper precise with my hand-to-hand -hand action. What I mean by hand-to-hand -hand action is when a player reaches in, I have to have the coordination to be able to strike their hand at the very instant, that very moment in time where they're reaching in to steal the basketball. So I cannot be out of control or sloppy with my offhand. It has to be precise. It has to be controlled. So once again, I go through. I'm tapping up. The tennis ball floats, and I want to hold off on that through the legs dribble as long as possible. My feet are remaining still. They're wide, and I want to control those feet not to move. So once again, go through. My palm is up now just to tap the ball up, delay that dribble as long as possible. So basically, I'm waiting for that tennis ball to start going down. So it's going to challenge the speed of my dribble, my poise to be able to play under control no matter what's happening. And that dribble is staying alive despite whether I catch that tennis ball or not. It's also, in this case, it's going to force me to have an urgent shoulder to drop it down because I'm delaying that through the legs as long as possible. So tapping up, wait, 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 boom. And that one almost hit the ground because I didn't hit it up that much. When you're hitting the ball up, you can give it some height the higher you hit it, obviously, the more time you're going to have to have to float the ball and have it rotate. So it goes up. Wait, 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 wait. Boom. Through, and I'm catching it on the way down. Give that one a try. Definitely work your handle.